Today, I'm going to show you how to make a homemade fitter for a disposable mask to keep yourself and others safer. First, what you're going to need, a tape measure or a ruler, two clamps, two zip ties, some elastic material, some foam covered wire, a pair of scissors, some pliers with a cutter included, and lastly, a lighter. To get started, we'll cut eight and a half inches of the foam covered wire. Get eight and a half right there about. And we're gonna cut it using the cutting tool on the pliers because it doesn't work as well with a pair of scissors. Just like that. And so next what we're going to do is grab the very end with the pliers and just roll it inwards to make a loop. You close it shut just like that. There we go. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. Just like that. And when you're done, from the center of each hole should be about six and a half inches. So now we have completed the nose piece. And so with the loops faced outwards, what we'll do is we'll bend right in the middle for our, our nose. And now we have it about in the right shape. Next, what we'll do is add the elastic material. So here I have the elastic material. We're going to feed it through the loops like this. Grab both ends. Here you go. Next, we're going to take a clamp and we're going to clamp the two pieces of elastic material together. Oftentimes, you'll have some extra material on the tag end, and what you can do for that is take a pair of scissors and just cut it, get rid of the extra material, and then you can take a lighter and uh, seal the frayed end of the elastic. Just like that. And so now we have our single band mask fitter complete. Taking things a step further, you can get a better fit by making a second lower strap designed to go around the lower part of your head. You can do this by taking some more elastic material and connecting it to the bottom part of the current mask fitter with small zip ties. And so you make a loop and Hold it shut with a zip tie. And you want to do that on both sides. To clean things up, you can cut off the tag ends of the zip ties and the elastic material. Lastly, take the two remaining ends of the elastic and holds together with a second clamp. And that is how you make a homemade disposable mask fitter. Now I'm going to show you how to properly wear the mask fitter that we just made. So you're going to need a disposable mask and the mask fitter. The mask fitter has two loops. They both end with the clamps. The first loop is fed through the holes in the nose piece. Um, the second loop is connected to the elastic material with the zip ties. You want to take both loops and put your head through them, just like that. Um, next, you want to take the nose piece and fit it around your nose over the mask. And the loops that come through go around your chin. Now you want to take the upper loop and cinch it tight 
to the top of your head. You want to make sure that the wire is fit well around your nose and the lower elastic is fit well around your chin. So lastly, we're going to cinch the lower loop and that just goes around your neck or the lower part of your head and that helps keep things secure. And now you're good to go.